Retirement with Marvin Mitchell, Senior Financial Advisor and President of Compass Retirement Solutions. Today, Marvin, we're diving into how much money does it take to retire? So much uncertainty happening right now in the economy, in the stock market, companies offering retirement packages. What should individuals consider? Well, you're absolutely right. Unfortunately, a lot of people are forced to deal with this situation of retirement a lot sooner than they expected. I mean, we're getting a lot of people that are furloughed, laid off, and then a lot of people who are just choosing to retire early because they realize that maybe their pensions are frozen and um, they're, they're, they're actually not making any more money on it. So, you know, with that being said, you know, most people, most people when they're accumulating for retirement, they think about a number as far as how big they want their investment account to grow rather than thinking of an income figure and they forget the reason why they were saving in the first place. Remember, the reason why you save in retirement in the first place was to build up enough income not to continue to play the volatile stock market game that, as you see, can go way down, but it can also go way up. So you don't want to be caught with your hand in the cookie jar, so to speak, and you retire and all of a sudden the stock market is, is, is crashing and going down. So with that being said, you know, today what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to give an example of two fictitious couples on why a certain amount of money matters less than the amount of cash flow, positive cash flow that you have in your retirement assets. You ready for that, Dan? Yes, let's hear it. All right, good. So. Let's say couple, fictitious couple A, um, they, their goal is to get to a million dollars. And they think that that's gonna be the number that they're gonna, that they're never gonna have to worry about anything. Then we have a couple number B, which, which they don't have a lot of savings. They have only about $250,000 saved for retirement. And couple A would look at them and say, wow, how are they gonna survive over $250,000? Let's go back a little deeper into fictitious couple A. So they have a million dollars, but their job offers no pension. And um, that's it. So they're gonna, all they're gonna get is social security in addition to that. And they, they live a pretty good lifestyle. They live a pretty good luxurious lifestyle. So they spend about $70,000 per year. Their social security comes in at about um, $30,000 per year. So that means they need $40,000 to fill that gap. $40,000 to fill that gap. Well, here's the issue. On a million dollars at 5%, they can only take out about 5%, 4 to 6%. So let's say 5%, that's 50,000. And when you take taxes into consideration, that's 35,000 maybe. And if taxes go up, that means even less of that particular money. So in that, their situation, a million dollars wasn't even enough because they're taking too much risk on the front end. Okay, now let's go to couple number B, the fictitious couple B. $250,000 is all they have. However, the couple, they both get a pension of about $3,000 a month total. They both get Social Security, which is another $3,000 a month total, maybe between the two of them or even both of them. Let's call it $7,000 total a month that they're getting in fixed expense, fixed income. They only spend $4,000 a month. So they still have a cash flow, even after taxes, of about two grand per month. They never theoretically have to tap into their investments. Dan, who do you think is in a better situation? Yeah, I, I, I hear you. I hear you, the, the, the couple with the 250000 <laughs> Absolutely. So don't get me wrong. I'm sure most people would rather have a million dollars in the bank rather than 250,000. But my point is not to say, not to aim for more money in retirement, it's to say that you need to think about the big picture. And we help you to figure out that big picture in our book, Retire Early, the nine critical decisions when retiring before 65. How do you come up with a spending plan? How do you make sure that your money lasts? How do you minimize your taxes? How do you create a, a, a great estate plan so that you avoid probate? It's all answered in this book. All you have to do is go to www.fox2now.com slash retirement to get this free peace of mind retirement toolkit, which includes the book Retire Early. Again, that's fox2now.com slash retirement. Don't delay, request this book today, you will not regret it, and it's absolutely complimentary.
Right, that's a great tool to have for planning your retirement. That's Marvin Mitchell from Compass Retirement. Marvin, thanks so much for being with us.